we offer. It's almost a little oasis in the desert. We offer fishing, camping, hiking, equestrian area. You can bring your own horse and camp with your horse. There's trails they use across the, the street and in the riverbed for the horses. We're open every day of the year except for Christmas Day for fishing. And we're open every day for camping. Yeah, We're open um, longer hours in the summertime and a little bit shorter hours in the winter. Every day, I don't think there's been one day when there hasn't been one fisherman, and I don't care what the weather is, you know, they, it's their day to get away, they're gonna go fishing. April through October, we stock uh, catfish, and then October to April is trout. And that's only because of the temperatures of our waters, they're warmer in the summer, and that supports the catfish, and, and in the wintertime, they're colder, and the trout do really well. We get our trout from a hatchery in Northern California, Mount Lassen trout, and they always give us outstanding trout. We get our, our uh, catfish come from Bakersfield, with superior catfish. We stock every week, once a week, usually a thousand pounds of either catfish in the summer or trout in the winter. So there's always that little bit of time where they overlap so you can catch both, but as it gets more into the season, you'll catch one or the other. The lake is roughly seven surface acres, or about a mile around. It's um, fed through the well, it's well water fed. It's changed in shape a little bit over the years, but for the most part, you know, it's the basic. It's, it's been basically the same for at least 20 years that I know. 70s, I believe it was a fish farm. It was privately owned. Um, uh, Mary Emery, I think, owned it, and at that time, it was called Lake Rotobo. Yeah, actually, it's pumped from the well at the back of the property to the front here, and it runs down through the stream, which helps also to purify the water too. I mean, as well, water is good in there, but. Yeah, and it goes into the lake and then it goes back into the aquifer and then it's almost recycled. <laughs> we have camping every day of the year. Prices are about $35, start at $35 a night. We have water and electrical sites. We have showers and flush toilets in the campground. And uh, we, we don't have a dump station and no um, cable television. We have night fishing during the summertime and that goes, uh, it's two sessions of fishing every day, six in the morning until Five in the afternoon is the day session, and then one in the afternoon till 10 o'clock at night is the night session. For catfish, early in the morning, okay, and then it kind of gets a little low in the afternoon, and then it picks up once the sun goes down. Trout is mostly day fishing, morning and a little bit in the afternoon. They love the park itself because it's shady and, and grass, and it's tranquil because of the stream that runs through it, and the kids, they like to put their toes in the water, and, you know, it's got a nice playground. It's a safe, clean park. People love to come here, and that's what they like about the park itself. Animals are more than welcome, as long as they keep them on a leash and pick up after them. Yeah, you don't really realize it from the road, but once you come in and you actually see the park itself, you're going, wow, how come I never knew this was here? <laughs> I've had people say, I've lived here for 10 years and didn't know this place existed. Really?